from man-eating monstrosities to divine beasts directed by the gods. Today we look at strange Greek mythical creatures. Number 14. Cyclops Known as towering giants equipped with just a single eye, the legendary Cyclops appeared in multiple myths throughout Greek history. In Hesiod's poem Theogony, three Cyclops are enlisted as weaponsmiths, crafting a thunderbolt for the king of the gods, Zeus. Odysseus, the hero and title character of Homer's Odyssey, encounters a group of Cyclops working as barbaric shepherds, including the son of Poseidon, named Polyphemus. Even the architect of the Greek archaeological site, Mycenae, is attributed to these fabled gargantuans. With the region's Cyclopean walls featuring such massive boulders that legends surmise only a giant could have built them. Number 13. Centaur Half man, half horse, the centaur is one of the most recognizable mythological creatures to rise out of Greek lore, and it continues to appear in fantasy works to date. According to legend, these beings were said to have been born from either the Greek king Ixion or his son Centauros, depending on the source. They are often depicted with a sense of duality, torn between wild, untamed behavior and an erudite sense of wisdom. One of the most notable centaurs in mythology is Chiron, known for acting against the lustful, wild, and indulgent manner of his kin, instead opting to instruct heroes like Asclepius, Ajax, Theseus, Achilles, Jason, Perseus, and Heracles, among others. Scholars believe the concept of the centaur to have derived from cultures upon first encountering other cultures on horseback, fusing the foreign steeds and their riders together when recounting their tales. Number 12. Sirens. Combining the physical aspects of birds with the features of women, the dangerous sirens of the sea were said to seduce sailors with their enthralling songs. Originally depicted as having aviary appendages, such as taloned feet and wings, their appearance changed over time, with bodies matching the seductiveness of their voices. But rather than enticing mariners with romantic interest, sirens would draw in seafarers in hopes of causing them to shipwreck along rocky coasts. Such was the curse handed to them by the Greek harvest goddess Demeter. These creatures were given lifespans, as the story goes, that would cease should a sailor successfully pass them and their alluring songs by. Number 11. Satyr Depicted with the ears, tails, and sometimes lower body of a horse, the satyr was a symbol of debauchery, decadence, and overindulgence as representatives of the wine and fertility god Dionysus. They are often portrayed in artwork as drinking wine, playing instruments, dancing and chasing nymphs, as well as engaging in a number of unspeakably hedonistic activities. These bearded creatures often played the role of trickster when it came to Greek fables. Satyrs would routinely get into mischief, interfering in the lives of mortals and fellow mythological creatures alike, often engaging in some crude form of seduction along the way. A favorite among playwrights, Greek society even developed a type of play revolving around the beings, with satyrs forming the chorus with the goal to elicit laughs from their raucous, adult-themed humor. Number 10. Minotaur Legend tells of the Cretan king Minos, praying to Poseidon, god of the sea, to send him a white bull in support of his rise to the throne. Poseidon delivered with the stipulation that Minos sacrifice the porcelain bovine in his honor. But when the zealous king decided to keep the bull for his own due to its majestic beauty, the sea god punished him by making his wife fall in love with it. Together, the woman and the bull produced the monstrosity that would come to be known as the Minotaur. With the head of a bull and the body of a man, this mythic creature was banished to a massive labyrinth due to its unnatural need to consume humans for sustenance. Here, it roamed the puzzling corridors of its forest home, feeding on sacrificial offerings until the Minotaur was slain by the hero Theseus. Number 9. Pegasus the glorious steed known as Pegasus is one of the most heralded legendary beasts, having served as a companion in the adventures of heroes like Bellerophon, and in some accounts, Perseus. Despite it being a winged horse, Pegasus is said to have been the direct offspring of Poseidon and the Gorgon Medusa. He served Zeus directly, bringing the king of gods lightning and thunder from the divine oasis of Mount Olympus. After years of service to Zeus, Pegasus was immortalized when the king deity rewarded him by transforming him into a constellation. The winged horse can be seen outside of the night sky in the form of emblems, logos, and even companies' names due to its long-lasting reputation as the most divine of all horses. Number 8. Basilisk 
Born from the egg of a toad or a serpent incubated by a rooster, the basilisk was a ferocious horror and one of the most dreaded among ancient societies. The physical makeup of the basilisk has changed from culture to culture, but classically this beast resembled a snake with the head and wings of a rooster, possibly in small stature. But it's also come to be known as a name for a giant snake as well, with the main common factor in both iterations being the basilisk's special abilities. The serpentine terror was said to have a gaze that could end lives, a putrid breath that could incapacitate grown men, toxic venom, and a paralyzing hiss. Through these tools of destruction, the fabled basilisk posed a threat to mortals without even needing to get close. Number 7. Harpy Somewhere between fair maidens and vicious vultures lies the folkloric harpy. This feathered, apparently female monstrosity was known for carrying people away into the sky, snatching them up from the ground as punishment for whatever wrongs they might have committed. Harpies were treated as wind spirits and are thought to have been ancient Greece's personification of ruthless winds and their destructive nature. Cursed with hunger, these beings would steal food off their victims before carrying them to the torturous deities of vengeance known as the Irenes or the Furies. But depending on the source, harpies are thought to have served many masters. Sometimes they carried evildoers to Tartarus, the abyssal prison of the Titans, and other times they served Zeus himself as ministers of the Thunderer. However, in later writings, their duty was to the underworld, along with a litany of other monsters. Number 6. Griffin The majestic blend of a lion and an eagle. The griffin, or grips as it was sometimes known in ancient Greece, is a legendary beast whose image has endured the test of time. Recognized in Greek mythology for guarding gold deposits, where they were said to make their nests amid gilded nuggets, griffins were a common inclusion in Greek artworks. It is believed the folkloric beasts predate the ancient Greeks, having been identified in ancient Iranian and Egyptian artifacts dating back to 3000 BC. Then, after the Greeks, the griffin persisted into the prestigious role of a heraldic symbol during the medieval times. The belief during the medieval ages was that the lion was the king of beasts and that the eagle was the king of birds, thus making the griffin one of the utmost exalted fabled creatures by default. Number 5. Hippocampus Poseidon was known as the god of the sea, but he also reigned over other dominions as well, serving as the god of earthquakes and even horses. So when the great ocean lord was described as riding up from the sea, it made all the more sense for his chariot to be pulled by the hippocampi. The hippocampus is a creature with the upper half of a horse and the lower half of a fish. While its name isn't quite as familiar as others on this list, its imagery carried on long after the ancient Greeks. Depictions of the hippocampus can be seen in Etruscan wall paintings in Italy, Pictish carving in Scotland and in medieval heraldry, ranging from Ireland to France. Number 4. Echidna From the waist up, Echidna was a beautiful Greek woman, but her lower half revealed her true nature as her legs were instead replaced with the body of a snake. Described as an irresistible yet fearsome being, Echidna existed somewhere between the Greek gods and mortals with a supposed immunity to age. With the gargantuan creature Typhon as her mate, who also had many physical features relating to snakes, Echidna birthed many if not most of the popular mythological creatures to stand the test of time. Thus, she is widely regarded as a mother of monsters, tolerated by the gods for her role in challenging heroes by way of her offspring. Eventually, she was slain by a servant of Hera, a hundred-eyed giant named Argos, who defeated Echidna at the request of his goddess. Number 3. Hydra Making its home in the Lake of Lerna, the Hydra of Greek legend was a serpentine whore equipped with numerous heads, the number of which varies with the source of the story. This creature is said to have been born of Echidna, like so many other monsters of Greek myth. However, the Hydra in particular was raised by the goddess Hera with the sole purpose of vanquishing the hero Heracles. Its lair in the swamps of Lake Lerna was shrouded in poisonous gases, and within its waters was said to be an entrance to the realm of the afterlife, known as the underworld. Heracles would do battle with the Hydra as the second of his twelve labors, but as he cut off one head, two would grow back in its place. Enlisting the help of his nephew Yolas, the hero used his blade to decapitate the scale tear as his relative singed his neck's shut before it could regenerate, resulting in the Hydra's demise. Number 2. Cerberus In the ancient Greek pantheon, Hades ruled over the underworld. The souls of those who have passed are kept safe behind the gates of the underworld, and standing guard outside these gates is the notorious beast called Cerberus. Depicted as a gigantic three-headed dog, sometimes with snakes protruding from all over its body, this Hound of Hades is one of the most iconic mythological monsters to spawn out of Greek folklore. 
The beast was virtually untouchable until the hero Heracles, as his final of twelve epic labors with which he was tasked, came to capture the three-headed dog. Heracles defeated the Cerberus by force, dragging it back to the mortal world as proof of his capability, before returning the creature to its home aside Hades. Number 1. Chimera Perhaps the most nightmarish creature of Greek mythology, the Chimera was another beast spawned from the mother of monsters, Echidna, and was often referred to as a sibling of the Cerberus and Hydra. This abomination features the head and body of a lion, the fire-breathing head of a goat branching out of its back, and the head and body of a serpent in place of a tail, a terrible monstrosity. The Chimera was said to have terrorized the region of Lycia before the hero Bellerophon slayed it with the assistance of the Pegasus. 